Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have a new episode of How to Make Your Opponents Cry. Starring one of my favorite Pokemon ever designed. Also starring one of my least favorite cards ever designed. It's Heracross. But before we start, can we take a moment to look at this art? I never really looked at this art until I like put this deck together. It is beautiful. Now this deck is from a Facebook user. Oh my god, I should have looked it up beforehand. I did this last night. I created it last night. I actually didn't have enough Lorantises, so last night I had to trade, throw a trade up where I traded like five uh, Celestial Storms for two Lorantises. Oh, I feel bad now. He won a League Cup and he put this uh, uh, deck list up and I was like, okay, I gotta try this deck. It's it's not gonna be fun to play against. I, I played against Heracross before. It's annoying. If you guys don't know why this is annoying, you can look at his ability. Guts. If this Pokemon would be knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, from an attack, I guess it could be any attack, flip a coin. If heads, this Pokemon is not knocked out, and his remaining HP becomes 10. You can see why this is annoying. Its attack is pitched, does 50 damage, your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. That's actually a good attack. The issue is it takes two grass energies. 50 damage isn't a lot, but you could stack it up with items such as Hustle Belt. If the Pokemon this card is attached to has 30 HP or less remaining damage counters on it, they attacks to 60 more damage. So that's 110 damage. Two Lorantis is on the bench. That's another 40. That's 150 damage. A Kakui, that's 170 damage. You can see where this all stacks up. I'm interested in why the Pokemon. Look at the top three cards of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon or an energy card you find there and put it into your hand. Put the other cards back in any order. So it's an interesting card. I never dabbled with it. I think it's a bad card the majority of the time. But this deck is different than like any other deck I've seen. So I think it actually works out fairly well. I'm a little scared that this will work. That that's 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 where it hurts me the most. I hate coin flips. I don't like coin flips. I'm bad at them. Like everyone's like, so those I'm unlucky. No, I'm just really bad at them. And like whenever I do a deck like this, I always avoid it. I always stay away from super scoop up. I always stick away from that's like the really the only coin flip that I'm like, that's actually a good call. Like uh I can't think of anything else that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm done to play that. But everything else is pretty standard. A four four <laughs> 4-4-4 four, four, four line of Fomantis, Lorantis, and Heracross. And then one Orangaroo. Of course, the engine. The draw engine. Um, Acrobike for more engine. Pokenet for more engine. Nest Ball for more engine. Ultra Ball for more engine. Uh, then Cynthia. Uh, basically, Cynthia, Guzma are staples in every deck. Four or three of them. Dayton Liza for more draw. Professor Kakui for more damage and more draw. Counter energies, if you guys don't know how this works, if your opponent has more, has taken more prize cards than you have, this works as a double colorless energy, but provides every single energy there is. So it would provide us two grass energies, and Link just jumped up here, and now Link is going to go back down. So, that's how this deck works. I have not played with it yet. I'm excited to see how it works. I'm a little terrified to see how it works, because like I said, I'm not that... I'm working on Hodgecrow, by the way. I've played a lot more games than four. The I've lost two games so far, which... I, I don't understand the overall wins and how Poke Pokemon does it or whatever, but it still frustrates me. I lost to Yellow Swallow yesterday. I was... God, he had, like, the ultimate counter to this deck, and it was super annoying. He had Oranguru with resource management. Uh, Oranguru. I could show you this. Resource management. Um, put three cards of, from your discard pile to the bottom of your deck in any order. And he ran four enhanced hammers, which just ruined ruined me. He, would, he resource management twice, and he got, I think, both uh, times six total enhanced hammers back. And it just, I couldn't win. I just couldn't win. I got him down to three prizes. I, I played to my outs, and it just wasn't going to work. I had to basically rely on him not hitting those, and it just was not working out for your boy at all. It's a little unfortunate. Elite 4 Pedro XD. Hello, Elite 4 Pedro. Say hello to my, <laughs> my hair cross. <laughs> I don't want this to work. I I already know, like that. My, my coin flips are bad. My coin flips are really really bad. Link, you gotta stay down, buddy. You can't keep coming up here. My coin flips are really bad. So if I want to take notes, I, I want to take notes. I want to see if I'm actually unlucky. Got my paper. Don't worry, Elite Four Pedro over here is just gonna take a sweet time. I'm gonna write down heads and tails. And it's only going to count for each time uh, we get knocked out. Heads. Tails. Here we go. 
<laughs> I need to keep count of this. I'm very interested in this. Fomantis is actually not that bad now that I think about it. Fomantis has a really good attack. So this is search your deck for one energy card, put it on one of your bench Pokemon. Fomantis might be the best starter. Maybe. Like, the reason why this is better than just attaching from your hand is because this sends out your deck a little bit. He has a Pokenap too? What are you running? Elite for Pedro. That does not look like a very elite deck. Fighting and Metal? I feel like this has to be like a Silvalli. Hey, I got a Pokenap too. And he started off with a Rangaroo. A Rangaroo is like a staple in probably like 75% of decks right now. Shrine of Bunchman, that's fine. Okay, it looks like he's going to be maybe... Not Weavile. Okay. I have no idea what he's running. Is it... Buzzwell... Duskmane Necrozma? <laughs> uh, I would place money that he's got Buzzwell somewhere in his deck. I would place that down as a good, good bet. Dusk shot. Th this is fine. What do you attach? XP share? What is happening right now? <laughs> Am I going to get rolled? I have no idea what I'm playing against, but say hello to my little friend, Heracross. I have to be careful with energies. I have to be very careful with energies now that I think about it. There's seven grass energies, and then there is three counter energies. Three, not four, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's Buzzwool. Um, so that allows, like, me. Th there's no way of me getting energies back, is there? I don't think there's a super rod. There's a rescue stretcher. I know that for a fact. I don't think there's a super rod. So I don't really want to ultra ball away these two. I think I'm probably going to Poke Nav. I don't know. I'm doing a lot of thinking right now. I'm debating. Okay, he has a switch. That's fine. That's not. I mean, you go ahead. You do that, buddy. I am going to Ultra Ball, get rid of the Kakui that's not shiny, and I guess the Guzma. <sighs> I can't think of a way I get back energies, and that scares me. I might actually have one, I just can't think of it. I'd rather hold on to the energies. I think the energies are going to be important during this matchup. Maybe if I saw that he was playing uh, GXs and stuff like that, and I could take big and knockouts, I'd be like, okay, I could do that. But right now, I feel like this is more important. Let's Pokenap before we Kakui. Uh, grab another Heracross, just in case. Uh, put these back in any order. Laurent, well, it doesn't matter. I'm grabbing both of them. Because I'm going to Kakui. Oh, that's good synergy. Okay. Okay. I should have attached to him. I don't know why I didn't do that. It's whatever. I guess I'm going to sack him off. Give me a Fomantis. Ugh, you hate to see it. Done. Do I get to still put in any? Yeah, I do. Mm, we're going to go Nest Ball. Yeah, we don't want China Punishment. So, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to Nest Ball next turn regardless. So, I guess whatever. We're just going to be taking hits with him. If he doesn't knock out this Fomantis, which I don't see an easy way of him doing right now. I run, field, I run one Field Blower, I think. Okay. I mean, he could do 100 damage with Rusty Claws. Not this turn, but yeah. Dusk Shot does nothing because it does 60 to GX. I don't have GXs. Which is another reason why this deck kind of works. Um, they're taking one prize knockouts and they're not guaranteed one prize knockouts. <laughs> this is so dumb. These games are going to go on forever too. This feels like a massive like troll right now. So the play is here. It's going to be... Guzma, probably grab you. Yeah, if we could knock out the Deancey, we go for it. That's going to be so much damage over time, just gone. Hitting weakness on that just is good. We get Lorantis on the deck, which uh, on the bench, which means this is doing 70. Weakness is knocking him out. So let's go ahead and Nest Ball first before we do anything else. I want a Ranguru. We're going to thin out almost all of our hand here, so. Yeah, we're guzma in for sure. We're doing this. Say hello to my little friend, Heracross. The 100 damage doesn't even knock him out. <laughs> Feels good, man. Feels so good. Feels so good. All right, give me, give me like, Cynthia. I can't use that this turn, but I want to make sure I draw something next turn. Okay, cool. Thanks. That doesn't really help. Say goodbye to your little Deancey. 140 damage. Because uh, the ability is grass and fire types get 
do 20 more damage on your side of the field, so yeah, it's doing 70. And then that also is another thing, but it, it's whatever. Actually, Guzmo might be more important than energy in this deck, now that I'm thinking about it. Especially with the whole switchy-switchy thing. <laughs> I think he's realizing he's in trouble right now. <laughs> I would hate playing against this deck so much. Guzmo knock out the Lorantis? No. I mean, okay. I would have I would have gone after the Lorantis. It's up to him though. Okay, what's the play here? I think it's Nest Ball no matter what here. We grab another Fomantis. It's just thinning out our hand a little bit, or thinning out the deck a little bit. Uh, I don't think I can knock out anything. I'm doing 70 damage. Yeah, I'm not knocking out anything, but I can get damage on that thing. Let me read XP share really quick. When your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage, from, you may move one basic energy card. Okay, so yeah, if I knock him out, he gets the fighting energy. It's not like... Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. I had to make sure about that. We're going to do this, bring you back up, and we get to Oranguru for one. Hopefully, we get some draw support. We have a lot of draw support in this deck. We have Titan Lies, and we have Hustle Belt. Uh, <laughs> this is doing 70, so it's a two-hit KO on him. I guess I should have held on to the Guzma. Ah, dang. Okay, I'm misplaying Guzma, I think. I'm new to this deck. Don't judge me. Guzma is more important to, like, bring him up and take a surprise knockout on him later on. So I've gotten rid of two Guzma, three Guzmas. Oh, okay, we have one left. Not smart. Oh, he got a Sudowoodo. Cool. That doesn't affect me too much. We got two Heracrosses down. We got two Lorantises down. Or two Fomantises, whatever it is. I just wish I could get something. Link is over here playing, in case you can't hear him. Alright, very good. Uh, I mean, I, I, I guess... You're doing 80. I guess you... I want to save that for a surprise, but I do want to draw. It, it doesn't work right now. It's literally doing nothing. Oh, hey, Acrobike. Nice. Give me the cuckoo The cuckoo -y. It does nothing right now. It does something when uh, he's at lower HP. Okay, we'll grab you. And then I guess Guzma? No, we grab Field Blower. Field Blower next turn to get rid of the XP shares will be nice. It'd be really nice, actually. Okay, yeah, we're in a good spot. We're in a very good spot. We're doing 90 because of the Kakui and the Lorantis. My opponent keeps having to switch out. Ah, this feels so weird. It feels so weird. He has to switch out, right? Your opponent switches. Yep, they have to. They get to choose, so it's not like a Lysander. It's more of an escape rope uh, type thing. Why is Sophocles? Okay, interesting. This guy's got a very weird deck. Aha! You've activated my trap card. My hustle belt is now activated. Say goodbye to your little XP shares. I'm going to get rid of that. So, wait. I, I want to read this again. When your active Pokemon is knocked out... Yeah, okay. So, it's doing nothing. I'm going to knock him out this turn. So, you get rid of those two. Not because Shrine of Punishment makes any difference during this game at all. But I wanted to get rid of it so that I didn't have to deal with it in the future. I'm going to attach to you. I'm going to instruct so I get an extra card. I think we're just going to be in the lead the entire game. So, it's kind of whatever. There we go. Like, right now, we're just doing good. Did 150 damage. Did 150 damage. God dang. So now he can, like, bring up Buzzwole or whatever. Do his 120 damage. But it's still a coin flip if he knocks it out. I think his best play here would be to Guzma if he has up the Oranguru. I think. And we have energies all spread around. Which is important. Because, like, any one of these can attack next turn if I get one energy. Okay, no Guzma. So yeah, now he's got to coin flip on whether he knocks me out or not. Ah, feels bad, man. Feels really good, but really bad at the same time. Yep, Link is here in case you're wondering. There's another XP share. I don't like the XP shares. Coin flip. Dang it. Okay. The play here is to bring up Heracross, right? Yeah. And now we need to hope. Hope, hope, hope to hit a 
uh, lovely little energy. We get six shots. Any... Oh, no, I need... I need a grass energy. So, we've gone through three, right? There's one on my active hair cross and two in the discard pile. So, yeah, there's four. Four out of 24 seems like a good odds, but we did not hit any. Easy game. And we got rid of a Shrine of Punishment. That's really nice. That's really good, too. God dang. Say goodbye. <laughs> I love this. I love this. We've only got to use Guts once, though. I, I want to hit Guts. Oh, that's one for the Tails. Okay, so right now we're 0-1 on uh, Guts abilities. Let me write down Guts underneath it. All right, that's another prize for your boy. Hustle Belt. So right now he's doing... 80 damage guaranteed if he gets two heads i will freak a little bit because that's not fair okay we have three hustle belts in our hand <laughs> if he doesn't knock me out this turn which he shouldn't be the odds are he has to hit two heads exactly and then i have to hit tails <laughs> it's gonna, that's gonna happen i know it's gonna happen okay good only 100 damage he can't get Deontay back, so we're fine. And now we take a nice little knockout. <laughs> oh, this this feels good. Um, I'm actually going to play this. And shuffle my hand, because my hand isn't that good. But I want to get a... Yeah, there we go. I want an energy. I need to dig for that a little bit. I'm going to Ultra Ball away these two. I, I'm not going to need any more Lorantises at all. I'm going to grab Heracross. In case this Heracross gets knocked out next turn, I want to play another one. And playing the Ultra Ball allows me to instruct for another card. Nice. I have 12 cards remaining. I'll grab Cynthia. I don't need Fomantis anymore. We're good on that. We just want to pitch, knock out this head. <laughs> 150 damage. This is so dumb. I love it. I love it so much. And now he's got to bring up him. He's got to... That's his only way of knocking this thing out. And there's a 50-50 chance of it not working. <laughs> and he also needs to hit an energy. And everything in the world is right. We got another acro bike, which is good in case uh, he judges us. Or we don't hit a... It gives us more odds of hitting a energy out of this in case he does knock us out. I don't like the two orangaroos. I, I, I've tried it before. Not the biggest fan, unless you've got a lot, lot, lot of cycle. Don't think it's that good. Or if you think you desperately need it and, and one gets prized. I'm not sold on it. How much are we doing? A lot. Alright, what's the play here? We had Guzmo, we had Titan Liza to switch out to Heracross. We had Acrobike to dig for another energy so we could use our other Heracross. That was, that was GG. I want this deck to be good. Actually, I, I, I want, I want me to be good with this deck. I don't want anyone else to be good with this deck. This deck is dumb to play against. I played against someone with it before. This was before the newest set. Hustle Belt makes this deck a lot better, honestly. Hustle Belt's just really good. <laughs> for this, it's a bad card in general, but for this deck, it's very good. I, I looked at his energies or whatever it was. His little attacking Pokemon thing down there. Hey, look, a heads. That doesn't count. That's not guts. We're still 0-1. But he had everything all over the place. Okay. You know he's going to look at his hand and be like, what the hell? He's like, he's got a Guzma and two, <laughs> two secret rare Ultra Balls. This guy plays a lot, but why are there Hustle Belts in his hand? Okay, stop. Stop. See, normally it's not bad if he has three Pokemon in play, because that's less likely that he gets anything else in his hand. But in this scenario, uh, he gets to draw another card. I think only one. I didn't pay much attention. We got two Acrobikes. This hand isn't great, but this hand isn't terrible at the same time. We want to dig and see if we could get a Heracross. We went first. Actually, yeah, we still want that, but that's Acrobike. We're going to Acrobike before we do that stuff. Uh, getting rid of Shrine of Punishment is good, because this looks like it's going to be another Shrine deck. Nest Ball. We have four Lorantises. I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to Nest Ball. Hair Cross. We're not going to attach to Bomantis. Actually, that was...
I totally didn't take into account that it's going to be Garboder. Whatever. I'm going to save the Kakui in case I need it for a knockout in the future. Right now, we don't need much more in our hand. Maybe it was smart to play. I don't know. Like I said, I don't think we need much more in our hand. It just seems fine. Yeah, it just seems fine. I think what I'm going to do here is... Assuming he just does 30 damage to my Fomantis, probably evolve this Fomantis back here, attach to Fomantis... Uh, yeah, evolve this Fomantis back here, attach to this Fomantis, use Synthesis, get an energy on Heracross, Kakui, or see if we draw something else. He's got Weavile and Garboder. Seems greedy, man. Feels weird. Yeah, just doing 30. Wait, what? He kakooied. Oh, ew. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I forgot about that. I guess that, that's honestly not the end of the world. Yep, we're gonna do that. I was debating about how I could use the Ultra Ball, but this is the best way to do it, I think. We're gonna get rid of these two. We've fallen behind, so now counter energies are in play. Grab another Heracross, so just in case he does take a big knockout, we have a follow-up. Actually, I, I meant to grab a Ranguru. Oh, God! Oh, I'm dumb. I'm also not paying attention to what my prizes are, but I don't know this deck well enough to be able to just think of that off the top of my head. This puts him in a weird position. He's going to bring up the Sneasel, or the Buzz, the Buzzwool, actually. Either one's fine. He's not taking a knockout this turn. I think I've gotten rid of four. Two, three, four. Yeah, he can do 80 with Garboder. 100 with Kakui, Garboder, but eh. He can't feel blow or away anything. So Buzzwool comes up, does 30. 50 actually with Deonsi. He's gonna go up to the Lorantis. Mm. Guzma, Oranguru, Tayton Liza. All those cards would be good right now. It's Cynthia. We have to go for Cynthia. Yeah. Counter energy works. Counter energy works for retreating out. That's a unit energy, not a beast energy. Yeah, I like the idea of forcing him to use another Guzma. Even if he does, it's not the end of the world. I'm not going to use Pokenav because that does more damage. I don't want him having a way of somehow knocking me out with Garboder. That's fine. All right, another Nest Ball is kind of good, but kind of bad at the same time. Like, this Garboder might become an issue, but if he just has one Trubbish and one Garboder up at every time, we'll be fine. Okay, dang it. God, I shouldn't have said that. Mm, you hate to see it. Another Buzzwool, that's okay. The good news is he only has two more cards, so I'm, I'm feeling like he's got a Cynthia on hand. Just attack, just attack, just attack, just attack, 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 just attack, just attack, just attack, 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 just attack. That's fine. Just attack, just attack. Okay, good, 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 good. He doesn't have much good stuff in his hand right now. So we are doing... We're doing, what is this? Uh, 70. I was debating there about how I might be able to Guzma knock out this Deonsi, but it does not seem very plausible right now. Okay. He's struggling on draw. Four. If we go for the Nest Ball. Mm. Not over the moon about this. I want the Fomantis. It keeps me at 100, so he's able to knock out Lorantis, but not other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna Cynthia here. I think I just want to be able to draw an energy. I need to get energy attachments. There we go. Get rid of that just so it's out of my deck in hand. I think this is better. Yeah, just for right now. Okay, Petch. He switches out with the other Buzzwool. It's dandy. We haven't used a Guzma yet, so we can grab things off the bench. 
Hmm. I might debate about dropping a counter energy because so far, well, I mean, I've, I've only played, what is it, one game so far? But the counter energy hasn't really come into play. But I have been playing like shrine decks, so I guess that makes sense. Not every deck is going to be shrine, like 50% of the decks are going to be shrine decks right now. Okay. Not to start overthinking this. Oh, I want to knock him out. Oh, I really want to knock him out, especially if he just attacks. Guzma. Dang, he's knocking out my Lorantis. Dang. He's taking a prize card too. Gross. We get to knock out this Buzzwool, which I guess is okay. We're doing 50. We're not knocking him out. I need to get Lorantis. How many Lorantis have I lost? Three. <sighs> this hand is so bad right now. I'm actually going to do this. Oh, God. Okay, now Garboder is basically killing and destroying every single thing I have in life. We have to grab the Oranguru. Is the Oranguru more important right now? Yes, it is. I need to ensure that I have draw. I may not be getting this knockout this turn. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting this knockout this turn. <sighs> okay. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna get all three of those cards. Mmm, feels bad. I'm going to attach the counter energy to Fomantis because Oranguru is not going to be a good attacker in this. We're going to get two more cards after this. Actually, three be with Pokenav. Like I said, we pretty much unlocked the... Uh... Oh, nice. That's what I really, really needed. Um, we're going to get both of these, so it doesn't matter what order we go in. Because we're going to Kakui this turn. Actually, it didn't matter because we had Kakui. I forgot that Kakui does plus 20 damage as well. I'm not going to play the Hustle Belt yet. We're going to Pokenav again. Like I said, basically... Oh, we could grab... Energy card. Okay, yeah, it's not just... I'm going to grab another Kakui. Um, it's not just basic energy cards. It makes it a lot better. Okay. We're not going to play the Hustle Belt yet. We're just going to knock him out. Pitch. We want to take Surprise Knockout with that Hustle Belt. Especially because... Oh my god, Hustle Belt is such a good addition. <laughs> with the Lorantis on the bench, it does 130 damage, which knocks out every Buzzwool. This Buzzwool is knocking out my... A 50-50 chance of knocking out my hair across. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Kakui coming up, so even if he does knock out this Lorantis this turn, nice. That was his hand. If he doesn't take this knockout, he's got he's just top decking. If he takes this knockout, then he's got two cards. Alright, guts come through. There we go, we're one and one. Come back to me, Heracross. Welcome back. Missed you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so diabolical right now. We're doing like 150 damage with this. <laughs> Say goodbye to your stupid buzzwole. <laughs> Feels good, man. Where's your attackers now, huh? Well played, I know. It's pure skill. Basically, he has to get Garboder or like a Cynthia or some sort of draw support off of this. I'm gonna call he's gonna get Lily. This card is a Lily. It's a Lily. It's a nothing. Feels good. Feels good. I didn't play, say well played. I'm sorry. I should have said well played. I didn't know he was going to concede. I was waiting for it. I didn't want to say well played when he top decked because he had outs. That wasn't looking good for him, but he had outs. That's so gross to play against. All right. So far, uh, with the guts ability, <clears throat> we are one and one. It hasn't even... It's, it came into play twice. Wow. Okay. I thought it was going to be a lot more relevant, but uh, apparently I don't even need it. Fomantis, Cynthia, okay. I don't remember if we went first or second. If we went second, we at least have the ideal starter, I guess. We did go second, okay. So what we're probably going to do is, assuming that he doesn't judge us or do something like that, we're going to attach a grass energy to Fomantis. Uh, Ultra Space does not help us. So if I could get rid of that, that'd be great, especially if I could get a Shrine of Memories. We're going to Cynthia. Because we want to dig for the hair across. Uh, no hair across is prized. Two Lorantises. I have one in hand. Um, no Fomantises. Okay, so the Pokemon is just two Lorantises, which really hurts. So that rescue stretch is probably going to be important. 
Um, two Poké Nabs? Yep, that's four. Two Poké Nabs. Uh, one Cynthia? Yep, that's five. Ugh. No Guzmas, no Kakuis. One Grass Energy. Okay. That's not good prizes, honestly. Not the end of the world, though. It's something I can at least play with. Grass Energy, Heracross. Nice. I don't think I need to play on Ultra Ball right now. I can. Yeah, I can. We should. That's what I meant to say. Um, I want to dig with Oranguru. Getting Oranguru down is just so good. I don't see a very good way of him taking a big knockout this turn. So I'd rather Instruct. Thin out my deck a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I'm going to grab another Fomantis. Because even if it goes up to the Heracross, he needs to use a Guzma. He needs to get, get some massive energy going. Well, actually, he could Guzma Fight Bowl and possibly knock out. If he's got like a. He's, he has to get the most insane draw I've ever seen, so I'm not going to rely on that. I like this. This is safe. We got a good start. Our hand is looking good. Did I Oranguru? Yeah, I got the Nest Ball. Okay, yeah, we Oranguru'd. We're looking good now. I do. I do want. There's only two Nest Balls in this deck. I do think possibly dropping a Pokenav and adding a Nest Ball could be good. Maybe even a Hustle Belt. I don't know if. Four hustle belts are that necessary? Although, I don't know. I've still only played two games with this deck. The guy that won the League Cup with this deck obviously has played more than it than I ha with it than I have. So I can't really be talking too much about whether this is a good deck or a bad deck. Oh my god, okay, he's struggling a bit. You'd love to see it. Hmm. So we need a Lorantis. There's only two of them. A Lorantis... Yeah, that's the only way I can knock him out this turn. I want to knock out that Poiple in the back. We're going to instruct here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do this. Now, Gondol, I do think, has free retreat as well. But this just seems fine. This just seems fine. Honestly, Pseudo Wudo. Oh, I forgot that it switches them. I should have grabbed the other one. Oh, H. Oh, that was dumb. There's the Nagandal. So I grabbed that with Ultra Space. He hasn't had draw support unless he top deck like a Cynthia or something like that. So this is only doing. Yeah, this is only doing 60. Right? Yeah, 60. Okay. Not the end of the world. Ah, oh, God, this hand is bad. It's so bad right now. Ah, even this isn't activated. If he had one more, it would have been activated. Okay, okay. I have to draw. We're going to attach to you just so I could draw another card. God, H. Lorantis, please. Acrobike, that helps. Cynthia. Oh, okay, no, that's not that easy. It's not that e Ah, yeah, it is. Yeah, we need the Cynthia. Losing the counter energy sucks, but it's, it's what I gotta do right now. Pitch. Does 20, or 70. Uh, does Nagandal have free retreat cost? No, I was wrong. I thought it did for some reason. Oh, Stack Attack, it does not help me here at all. Acerola, that's fine. As long as we survive, it's fine. Okay, this is this is the moment where Guts, I think, has mattered. I think this is the one time that Guts has really, really mattered. Other times, I felt like I was out ahead, but if Guts doesn't hit here, I'm in so much trouble. So much trouble. Come on, heads, 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 heads. Oh, and the great top deck. There we go. At least now we have a backup attacker. How much are we doing right now? We're doing 50, 110, 110, and then 130 is not a knockout. Lorantis wouldn't change that either. Yeah, we're going for the Cynthia here. Kakui doesn't make a difference here. It's going to be a two-turn knockout. Um, okay. We're going to go ahead and do that. 
we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna field blower and get rid of this thing because I don't want him getting any more draw, more free draw. Do that. We get to draw one with a Rangaroo as well. So that all worked out. We don't have a good, oh, there we go. We don't have a supporter for next turn. That's more important. We could also rescue stretcher and grab that hair cross back. Okay. I feel a lot more comfortable now, not gonna lie. <laughs> 120, 180. He's used one Acerola. Acerola can just wall me this turn. He needs the pal pat. Oh my god, that's so nice. Oh, I forgot that stack attack is a thing as well. Um, stack attack's ability is your Ultra Beast take 10 less damage from, yeah, each turn. I guess the Field Blower was useless, but it thinned out my hand a little bit, so I guess it wasn't entirely. I got damage across the board. It's not the end of the world. You can bring him up. We have two more Shrine of Punishments in our deck. None were prized, I'm pretty sure. Please. We're gonna go ahead and Kakui. I can't do anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and Ultra Space. I wanna double check the shrines. Yeah, two. We have two more grass energies and one more of those. Uh, all right, pitch. We've got a lot of his Pokemon weak now. By that I mean two, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's like an interesting spot I'm in. Tapu Lele is a Pokemon that I might be able to knock out in the future. If I hit three heads in a row, there's the Acerola. Mm. Okay, so he grabs the 181, assuming. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All makes sense. All makes sense. I, I feel like I need a Super Rod in this deck. Or like a Super Energy Recycler or something. There's Stack Attacka. It's fine, he just grabbed that to get out of his hand. This is doing 210. Oh, it has too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad, but I don't at the same time. I feel so good. Oh. I don't want this deck to become a meta card. I don't want to play against this deck. I don't want to play against this deck. I need to play a lot today. I don't really care about the Sophocles at all. I care about getting the five Celestial Storm packs. Oh, also, we have 31 packs. So, you know what? Before we end this, let's open a couple of these packs and see if we get something good. We're still looking for, like, the Rayquazas. If we could get Rayquaza GX. I, I have them all, but they're still good for trading. Um, especially a Secret Rare. That'd be great. The good thing is Regirock's actually a good card. It's one of the better rares you could pull, but it's not a card you particularly want because it's just a rare. It's not worth that much. If you want any rare, it's probably going to be Swampert. Or there's another one. I can't think of its name. Just ask and you shall receive. Let's see how much I can get for him just right now. Did I? I pro I think it's 1Z. I never remember how to spell Rayquaza. I'm just going to do that. Um, cards. I'm giving Celestial Storm. Uh, I don't really know the number of it. Let's see. Okay. I could get 18 Steam. I don't want 18 Steam Siege packs. What are you giving me? Wow, that's a terrible trade. That guy should be banned from Pokemon from trying to scam people. Garbage. All these are going to be garbage. All the newer ones are always garbage. Whenever you want to trade something, you got to go, like, you just got to keep scrolling down. It's the way to do it, unfortunately. I see seven. Is Rayquaza really worth 16 packs? I have four of these. I have one tradable full art and I have one non-tradable secret rare. Is it really worth that much? Jesus. I might trade away one of my Rayquaza, see how much I can get for it. 
<laughs> rip off hearts. Um, see what I can get for it. And then do a pack opening. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like and get out of here. <gasps> You're not glad. So.